NATO's top commander in Afghanistan has told British Forces News he's confident the British government will get the defence review right. General David Petraeus was speaking at a ceremony today to mark the departure of the deputy commander of ISAF, Lieutenant General Sinek Parker, who's leaving to become the UK's new commander land forces. Lorna Ward spoke to both of NATO's top generals in Afghanistan, starting with General Petraeus, who she asked about the latest thinking on the timetable for withdrawal. President Obama has announced that July 2011 is the date when a process starts. And the, the size of what transpires in terms of transitioning tasks to Afghan forces and beginning the process of the withdrawal of the U.S. surge forces, uh, that pace will depend on the conditions on the ground. What we're trying to do, needless to say, is to create the best conditions on the ground where uh, large numbers of Afghan forces can take on substantial tasks and we can gradually begin that process uh, of transition and, and perhaps uh, you know, a number of our forces then can go home. Uh, and, but the number of those, I wouldn't you know, presume to try to, to predict or project. I think we're a long way from that moment. Uh, there's a lot of hard work that needs to be done between now and then. Uh, again, our job is to produce progress uh, now that we're at the point where we feel that we have the inputs right in Afghanistan, really for the first time, uh, it's important to remember that over the last year and a half, we've worked very hard to establish the organizations necessary for the conduct of a comprehensive civil military campaign. Uh, we've tried to get the best leaders in place of those organ in, 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 in charge of those organizations, the concepts and plans and so forth correct. Uh, and then above all, the resources needed to carry it out. So nearly 85,000 or so additional ISAF forces funding for 100,000 additional Afghan forces. Uh, if you look at the U.S. component, tripled the number of civilians alone and so forth. So we're now embarked on the kind of campaign that we've, we feel is necessary to achieve our core objectives. And we should never forget what they are. Uh, it is vital to the interests of our nations that al-Qaeda and other transnational extremists not be able to reestablish sanctuaries and safe havens in Afghanistan as they were able to, to do prior to the 9-11 attacks, which were, of course, planned down in the Kandahar area, and for which the attackers were trained in Afghanistan before moving to Germany and then on to U.S. flight schools. That's a hugely important interest for all of our countries, uh, many of which, of course, have uh, experienced terrorist attacks on their homeland, a number of, of those that have emanated from this region. Um, to do that, to achieve that, we have to enable Afghanistan to be able to secure itself and govern itself. And, of course, that's what we're trying to do. We're not trying to turn Afghanistan into Switzerland in five years or less, where we have measured uh, and realistic aspirations. Uh, Afghan good enough, if you will, is good enough. Uh, and that's what we're, we're trying to accomplish with our Afghan partners who grow in strength and capability uh, literally every day, every week. You'll be aware that a strategic defence review is underway in the UK. Um, as one of the coalition partners, obviously, uh, are you concerned that any, any of the cuts that are likely to be made are going to affect operations in Afghanistan? Well, there's one partner that has been our most steadfast partner, and that is, of course, those who wear the uniform of your country. Uh, it has been an honor to serve with them in uh, now three straight conflicts. I served alongside uh, British soldiers in the Balkans, uh, then, of course, in Iraq, and now here in Afghanistan. And we've also been engaged with them in a number of other locations around the world and in activities that sometimes have been below the radar. Uh, we feel very privileged to, to have done that over the years and I'm confident that as the review is conducted that there will be a keen awareness of the requirements uh, of the mission here and the other contingencies uh, that, that could loom out there uh, and that they'll make the right decision at the end of the day.